Hey guys, what's up? It's JR Cuber, and in this video we have an unboxing from Red KB, but originally from Daniel or UCube. So I'm really excited for the puzzle that's in here, so let's go ahead and open it up and check it out. So here is the puzzle. This is the Gear 1. So this is a 3D printed puzzle. It was designed by Daniel from UCube and it was printed by Oscar Van Deventer. But basically this is a geared version of the Square 1. So if we go ahead and compare it to a Square 1 here, uh, you can see how the faces compare. The only difference uh, is that the cuts are a little bit different. So the edges are much wider on this cube instead of being super narrow. And what that allows for is everything to basically have the same same angle. Um, so the puzzle moves like this, like you would imagine a normal square one would, um, but it also moves on another angle, so it also turns from this side as well. So it actually moves from every side, uh, whereas uh, the square one only has one slice turn, so it, you basically just slice like that and then turn the top and bottom layers. Uh, this one technically has a slice on every side, even though it's just one slice you know, for two sides and stuff like that. But that's really cool. And then along this axis here, you have the geared parts. Um, so, wow, that is very cool. So you can see how all those pieces move around. The turning is incredibly nice. That's super well done, I must say. Yeah, it's very, very smooth and uh, just moves very effortlessly. Um, there's a little bit of catching with because of the interference from the slice layers. That's something I experience on normal square ones as well. Um, but yeah, this, this, the, the slice turns are a little bit more stiff. Those require a bit of force, but then these layers here when everything is lined up are very, very smooth. So that's gonna be super cool. So let me see if I can get this back. So if we do one turn like that, then we can do slice turns like that, and it's gonna get scrambled up quite fast. I've heard that this puzzle is not too difficult. As I'm sure you guys know, Red KB has already made a video about this puzzle. He posted it on his channel. After he was done with the puzzle, he went ahead and sent it to me, and then I'm gonna be sending it back to Daniel. So yeah, like I said, this puzzle was a collaboration between Oscar Van Deventer. I'm not sure if uh, Oscar helped to design the puzzle, but either way, the result is just a really, really cool 3D printed puzzle, and uh, I'm very excited to show a 3D printed puzzle on my channel since I've never really done that before and it's something that it's an area of puzzle modding that I have not really explored pretty much at all. The only 3D printed puzzle I have is like a 1x2x3 or something like that. So yeah, I, I'm not too experienced with it as, as a design form. Um, so it's something that I definitely want to get into, maybe even get my own 3D printer. Uh, I'm not sure what material this is made of. It doesn't feel like a Shapeways material, which is probably why it's so heavy. I'm thinking that's the reason why, uh, because it's, it's actually probably probably printed from plastic and not from nylon. Um, so that would definitely make sense. So the reason why the angle of all of the cuts are the same on this puzzle is basically so that you can actually split up pieces without it becoming too bandaged. If the puzzle was cut just like a square one, the gears would interfere with the slice turns too much and you wouldn't really be able to um, scramble the puzzle that much. Uh, but now because of this, you can like do a 90 degree turn and then still do a slice turn like that uh, and it still works. And then from there, you can kind of move it back like that and then still do another turn like that whereas on a normal cube that wouldn't really work. So it basically just allows for more turns to be possible and uh, it's an interesting idea. I think it would be interesting to see a normal square one like this where you could turn it from every single side. So if you just turn the top by a little bit you could still do all kinds of turns so there was no bandaging basically. I wonder if that would make the puzzle easier or more difficult. I would think easier uh, but it would definitely allow for more combinations so who really knows but I think it would be an interesting idea to try out. Anyways, I want to go ahead and scramble up this puzzle and see if I can solve it. Um, I, like I said, it, I, I've heard that it's not too difficult. So we'll see if we can solve it on camera. Um, yeah, it's just a pretty kind of mind bending puzzle. It looks very complicated just even already now, just scrambling it. Um, but there are a lot of gear puzzles that are not as difficult as they kind of appear to be. So I'm assuming this is one of them. I remember the first time I saw the original Gear Cube uh, many, many years ago. It, it looked so intimidating that I thought that it was going to be like pretty much impossible to solve. Uh, and I found that that was definitely not the case. So yeah, I don't know. Uh, I don't think any like actual square one algorithms will, <laughs> will even work on this cube. Obviously not. Um, so I'm thinking that the way to go about this, actually, I'm kind of solving it just by scrambling it even. Um, so that's kind of interesting. As you can see, I was just kind of trying to scramble it and I've already got it back to a cube shape almost. Uh, and it looks like we're just missing the middle layer. So maybe if we turn it around, something like that. See what that does. Pretty much nothing. What about 
doing something like that and then turning this back turning that around well, that's kind of interesting we got like part of it done uh, that didn't seem to work all the way though so let me go ahead and maybe try something a little bit like that and then turn that around turn that back Oh no, it looks like I'm making the situation worse. Oh, there we go. I did it. Okay. So uh, just by a little bit of messing around basically with the puzzle, I was able to get it back uh, solved. I don't really know exactly what I did. I just fiddled around with it a little bit. Uh, yeah, that's not too bad at all. Um, yeah, definitely a very easy solve. Um, I think what Red KB called as a deceptively easy puzzle. So, uh, one that looks a lot more complicated than it actually is. Anyways, this is a super, super cool puzzle. I'm really, really thankful to Daniel for allowing me to show this puzzle on my channel. Let me know what other kinds of 3D printed puzzles you guys would like me to check out. Uh, but yeah, go ahead and check out Daniel or YouCube on YouTube, Instagram. I'll have all of his links down in the description below. Anyways, that's about it for my unboxing and quick solve of the Gear 1. If you guys like this video, make sure to hit that like button, turn on notifications, and subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.